everyone, this is me, once again. Now before I start this video, I just want to let you know that Eric Wentz Rips are back in session. Now you're probably wondering, what happened to Eric Wentz Rips those videos? Well, they were only a one year thing, so I'm done doing those. I'm back to doing Eric Wentz Rips now. Anyways, hey, I'm going to be doing a rap on, you just it, do, do, do. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Five, four, three, two, one. We did the rap. No. Really, Nate Jr. Really, the Elodian. Really, Eric Weiner and Bobby Ross Bonus. Really, Nate Dodd Jr. I know it was my favorite show of all time. You can do a hell of a lot better than this piece of crap. Ah, uh, this sounds even worse than Dory Explorer, which was bad enough. Ah, don't deal though. Also, I say stop the stop, die the die, so the slow. Or better yet, quiet the quiet. Has that be one of the worst things you do so I've ever seen in my entire life? Period. The show is basically a spin off of Dory Explorer, but it's a hell of a lot worse than Dora is. Even though going to explore is still bad in general. <sighs> so basically, what the point is, is you got this stupid bratty year old here named Dor. Sorry, keep messing up. Let me start that. So basically, what the point is, is you got this eight year old bratty white head named Dio. And stupid pet tower named Baby Tower. And what they basically do in the show is rescue animals, shit about them, and body, 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 body. That's basically what the, the entire part of the whole show is. That's basically the entire part of the whole show. God. This show. <sighs> do I have to say this? This show gave me nightmares when I was a kid. This show was one of the worst shows I've ever seen when I was a kid. <sighs> Do the old do, do the old do, do do the old do. What was the junior fitting? What was the junior fitting when they beat this crappy song? Ah, this song's even worse than Dory Explorer. I know I said it I'm time, time then, but this time I really do admit it. Everything about this show is Dory Explorer 2.0. You have an MMA objects, staying the freaking obvious, set. You have an annoyed head. A stupid able opinion set. How about stupid thoughts that got you all the way? Well, set. God, what was the junior fitting before they made this or be so? <sighs> First off, I'm not talking about the characters now. <clears throat> First off, we have the big man himself, the goddamn AO. <sighs> he is a whiner. A loud mouth, a crybaby, and a total joy to watch. Dio, what can I stop your mouth up for once? Ugh. Dio, every goddamn episode in the song is him yelling and yelling and yelling and yelling and yelling and yelling. His yelling is grating. It makes me want to hover my goddamn ears. <sighs> it's so bad, I want to the channel. Deal, deal, deal. Deal, 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 deal. Why deal? Why deal? Why? Why don't you scream this? Why don't you scream every goddamn episode? God, it's especially worse when he does his stance. Especially the ending. I'm not about those later. <sighs> but first, I'm not about Baby Zatwar. <sighs> his. Stupid pet Zatwar. <sighs> Baby Zatwar is annoying, irritating, a waste of time. <sighs> and a hellfire Zatwar. Who won't stop saying, bro, 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 shut up, Baby Zatwar. God, his meowing is irritating. Hell, Dory's sport was a lot worse. Anyways, back to EO. My God. Is he so annoying? He states the obvious, just like his cousin. <sighs> he looks up screaming every 
He won't stop screaming in every goddamn episode. Uh. And worst of all, he's played by goddamn Z -Z Austin. Yeah, you heard me, right? Z, -Z goddamn Austin. The same actor who did Max Russo in Wizards of Waverly Place. The voice of Stinzy in the latest uh, pilot from 2002. And he was also the voice of Stinzy Red Boy from Blues Who's in the episode Hand You Hell. What the hell was he doing on this piece of pop song? Ugh, and apparently, the readers write Z Austin this out as annoying as possible when voicing Z.E. Well, that was all true. Ugh, I can't stand this goddamn song. It's a waste of time. Well, Z. Why would Z.E. Austin be in this Robby song? Ugh, he did way better in other songs that weren't the audience for. Or this piece of crap so. Ugh. Why was ZT not them awesome? Honest not them so. Ugh. Sorry for rambling you guys, but the it really pisses me off. He really, really, really pisses me off. I'm serious. Ugh. I remember back in June or so I believe 2008. Ugh. So basically what happened in the summer of 2008 when I was watching this so <sighs> he wouldn't suck the goddamn hell up! He wouldn't stop screaming! <sighs> wouldn't stop standing! And he wouldn't stop standing the goddamn obvious! And Dio, Zelda Dora, reached his audience like dumb fast! Come on! We are not dumb! That's totally, that's totally heartless! <sighs> Dio! I help you now up before this Christmas. <sighs> Me, Bell for me, yo. Stay out, yeah, Judy. <sighs> we can't stand your goddamn soul. We are so happy that can't sold. I agree with Bell for me, yo. It is a huge piece of crap. And a waste of time. <sighs> well, Nick Junior, do something then. <sighs> I feel bad for T.T. Austin. Why is he in this piece of crap show? <sighs> Anyways, next up is Baby Tatwar. Do you know it's Tatwar? Who won't say stop their mouth off? Won't stop meowing. Always obsessing over marshmallows. Even though those deal don't didn't have marshmallows. <sighs> he won't stop his stop their mouth off. Is that so like E.O.? He as well is free fine, just like his cousin Dora and Dio himself. And most of all, I can't believe he's not that played by Harvest Sorky. Yeah, Harvest Sorky was on the goddamn show. He was better as Austin Cinder voice for seasons one for three of the Rat Darnins. And he was also a voice of Subbul and Purple Hand Rue in seasons of Blues Who's. What the hell was Harvest Sorky doing on the show? I can't stand this stupid show, even to this day. I can't believe I used to like this goddamn crabby show when I was little. But now, I freaking hate it. I am being that serious. Next up, we have Alicia, the old stupid sister. And see, just like the old is annoying. Well, at least he's the only character that has the least, the least amount of problems. She's basically too cheerful for any of the other characters on the show. <sighs> Next up, we have the Bobo Brothers. To be honest, the Bobo Brothers are the only likable characters on the show. Next to the lizard from the episode The Hill Safari Rescue. The Bobo Brothers are the only sane people on the show. The only characters that actually have a brain, or like Dio who's dumb as a prick. <sighs> the, uh, the reason why I like the Bubble Brothers is because they cause trouble for Dio and his friends. They deserve it. <sighs> I feel bad for the Bubble Brothers. <sighs> they were awesome money characters. <sighs> I can't believe it. Sorry for rambling, you guys, and sorry for yelling a lot. I just 
It's just can't stand this stupid cell. It's even worse than Dory Explorer. <sighs> I can't believe it. <sighs> and it says like Dora has a voice of voice talent. I can't believe I can't believe this all had to star amazing and brilliant people or in that case voice actors. <sighs> I can't believe though the old don't have to star a lot of voice actors we know. Like Christina Amphrey. Who else? <sighs> Vanessa Lovinites, Sabrina Zion, who else? I fit in, I fit in. Muhammad Hummingham, Harrison Tad, Evers. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. <sighs> we have Ito, Dio's friend. He's annoying, irritating. He was my stupid flute, just like he always with his car. And worst of all, I can't believe she so is voiced by freaking Nicholas Aldono! Yeah, you heard me, right? Nicholas Aldono was on the show! Yes! The same actor who played one of the hits from Sesame Street's Elmo's Magic Hotbox, and he was also the voice of Pub Booze Clues. What the hell was he doing on this piece of crap? <sighs> we have the hard doors who are annoying triplets. Uh, they're annoying birds just like Swatty from the Pit Samuels 2011 series. And worst of all, do I have to say this? One of the three condors were forced by Aiden Poppy! Aiden Poppy! The same actor who played Quincy on the Little Einsteins! What the hell was he doing on the show? <sighs> and him believe one of the episodes was written by Mally Hatson. Yeah, you heard me, right? Madeline Patson was on the show. The same writer who was on a lot of shows we love. On American Brand St. Long, on Fabulous, etc. <sighs> and worst of all, we have the goddamn Grandpa Panda! <sighs> Why music seems? Why? Why well, music seems to be on this Robbie show? He was a lot better as the announcer in the 90s era of Nickelodeon. What the hell was he doing on the show? And I also forgot to mention Julian Lavarito was on the show. Give me a goddamn break. <sighs> so basically, the only reason why this show exists is for this freaking body. That's basically it. The only reason why this show exists is because of the freaking money. <sighs> the creators of the show were probably right. Hey! What's it? Uh, basically, the creators of the show, they, they basically said in 2004, Hey! Let's see if they'll explore a boy show! Uh, it's basically the reason why it still exists. It's because of the freaking money! Of the freaking toys! Uh, this show is a goddamn pass out! Uh, I can't believe you will have to make this so. Uh, <sighs> what was this you knew fitting before they made this crappy so? <sighs> if Nick Jr. <sighs> if you want to see a better Nick Jr. so, what's the Wonder Pets? It's a way better so than Don't Kill Go. Do you want to know what else is better Nick Jr. so? The Batyardans. The Backyard is a better than two years old. Wow, Lopsy is a better than two years old. Will Bear is a, is a better than two years old. Will Bill is a, is a better than two years old. Alexa's Window, Dodo Island, and Rhea's Castle are better than two years old. Rupert was a better than two years old. All of the other than two years old, the upper class than two years old, are better souls than Dodo Dodo, as well as Dora the Failure and No Crapper. <sighs> I can't believe it. <sighs> Next up, we have the freaking songs. Give me a goddamn break. In every episode, Dio and his friends would sing stupid songs throughout their adventures. <sighs> First off, I'm not about the freaking rescue song. <sighs> this song is annoying. 
You speak only what sounds like in a nutshell. I was not a army oath, the rest of you, my friend. I was not a army oath, the rest of you, my friend. Shut up, the oath. <sighs> the worst part of the song is when Dio says, The second song. Oh, do I have to say this? The worst song out of all the whole song. Uh, Plays in every goddamn episode is you just did the freaking ending song. Uh, the ending song, or never words, a wrap up song, is one of the worst studio no songs I've ever seen, especially in the beginning. Uh, in fact, in 2008, I was forced to listen to this song repeatedly. And it was annoying, a waste of time, and a real hellfire. I can't believe I used to like this goddamn song when I was little. <sighs> but now in 2019, I realized how annoying it was and started to hate this show. For good! <sighs> Here's basically what the ending song goes like. Name of the animal! Come on, say it with me! Name of the animal! Say it louder! Name of the animal! Everybody scream! Shut up, Dio! <clears throat> you need one over 9,000 bars of water to get through this piece of crappy so. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I have to say for this so. I don't know anything else about the show, so just don't leave it be. I know a person who likes the show. Santiago and his pirate crew, the Daladan, and Dora herself. <sighs> they wish they'd be in the show, but they can't because <sighs> they're still routed. <sighs> and you know, and I know who hates this show. Me and my friends, we wish Dodeo Go got hit down Pluto TV and Elodie and General. In fact, me and my friends wish the cell had never existed. <sighs> it is so repetitive. Oh, wait, I always forgot about what happens every episode. <sighs> Here's basically what every episode is in a nutshell. Dio and his friends are playing some sort of game, got an ammo hauls out. Squealing. And then the oak goes to the animal rescue center and summons Clint. Then Clint sends her stupid son. Then the animal goes out on a mission, sends his stupid son. Then an obstacle appears. Then the Bobo brothers show up. Then rescue Pat is summoned. Then stupid Ed is on. Then let's see. Then then, Dio and Alicia play the Let's Review game. Boy, let's get the obvious. And then that's it. <sighs> I also forgot, uh, I also forgot uh, about the Let's Review segments. Don't I dare know it. <sighs> Here's basically what happens in the Let's Review segment. Dio and Alicia saw a puzzle of an animal. <sighs> and, ba and they basically ask questions that are dumb. <sighs> That's it. <sighs> I have nothing more to say about this show. So I'm just don't leave it be. Dodeo Do sucks. <sighs> I wish Dodeo Do hadn't existed. Screw Dodeo Do and screw Hayu. <sighs> Will Bear, Queenies, and Sitsi Vorzulane will always be a million times better than Dodeo Do. <sighs> Basically, Nitsune and Elodian only make this sell just to sell toys. It's just to make money and to be a free pass out. <sighs> Why would Nitsune make this crappy sell? <sighs> Everything about this sell is hell. Real hell. <sighs> Anyways, end of rant. That's rant 24. After that, I'm gonna be brand on the note hymns. Then after that, Peppa Pig. After that, Hayu.
And then after that, let me think. Aha! Uh -huh. Then I'm going to be rant his on place in the box of the scenes. That's all I have to say for this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!